Hi and welcome, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your M.2 drive to a larger M.2 SSD. The original M.2 is 256GB and I'm planning to upgrade myself with the 512GB. Or you can go up to 1TB or 2TB, your choice. Here are some of the stuff that you need to get yourself ahead of time. Maybe the Windows 10 installation disk because once you upgrade your M.2 drive, the brand new M.2 has blank, no information, no OS. Therefore, you need to have the Windows operating system USB bootable installer, which you need to install into the M.2 drive. Okay, or you can do a clone process, meaning that you can buy one of these device, USB adapter, insert your new M.2 drive, and plug it to your computer. You can clone from the original M.2 over to the new M.2 drive. Therefore, you would have your operating system, your data, your program, your settings, everything will be cloned over to this new drive. I made that separate video and how to show you how to clone it. And if you're interested, check the description below. We will direct you to one of my video on how to clone from the smaller M.2 to a larger M.2. All right, but in this video here, the process is to show you how to remove the old hard drive and install with the new hard drive. All right, so let's get started. This is the Lenovo Yoga C. 930-13IKB. That is the model of this laptop or the model name is 81C4. First thing you need to have is to get yourself a Pentelope P5 screwdriver. It looks like a little flower. Um, the threads, so go ahead and remove that screw. It's a flower shape, I mean. Mm, it looks like the P5 is not really quite the right one. I apologize for that. Let me try with the Torque T5. Yeah, I use the Torque T5 is a lot much better than using the Pentelope P5. I apologize. This is the Pentelope P5 screwdriver. Um, do not use this. I apologize. You're supposed to use the Torque T5, not P5. Okay, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover here. I like to use the metal prying too. This is thin enough to get underneath that cover. Once you have a good grip on the back cover, you can simply just leave it straight up. At this point here, you can see that the M.2 drive is on your left. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. And go ahead and remove that screw. Slide the M.2 at 45 degree angle or less to your left. Is going to slide it to your left to remove it. Okay, so this is the original one. I do not need that anymore because it's too small. It's only 256 gigabyte. If you can see, it says right over here, 256 gigabyte M.2, which is too small for me. It's time for an upgrade. Here I have the 512. I'll be inserting at 45 degree angle to the right. You push it back to the right to insert and install. And go ahead and make sure you have the screw to go back in. And now remember, 
I changed to the brand new 512 gigabyte and this has no operating system. So I'll be using this Windows 10 USB bootable disk and I'll be insert into the computer and do the Windows setup and install. This one has comes with the license key for that. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it to change out to upgrade your M.2 drive. And make sure you have the uh, back cover to go back in. And have all the screws back in as well. Okay. And again, I, I apologize earlier, I did say it was the uh, P5, Pentola P5 screwdriver. Um, actually, I make a mistake on that. You need to use a Torque T5. What was I thinking? Because this is proprietary screwdriver for a MacBook Pro um, or the Mac, Apple stuff. But what was I thinking? So I make a mistake on that. I apologize. Uh, T5 or the torque is pretty common screwdriver um, you need to have to use it for this so technically I only have you need to have two screwdriver to replace or remove the M.2 drive all right so that's pretty much it I hope that the video is helpful for you and if you find the video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't so if you have any computer related question comment below I do read your comments and um, i'll get back to you with any of your computer stuff all right so thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful until next time bye now